you doing? I'm Louis Gamino with Enviroscape LA. We're here doing our very last video for this job. We're getting ready to uh, pull away. The very last thing you want to do when you install your drip system, take a look at your clean out. You can see here, if you remember, we put drip irrigation all throughout here in about 60 feet that way as well as 60 feet that way. This little guy here, it's our clean out. The valve is now open. You can see no water is coming out. About once a year roughly, depending on how much you're irrigating or if you do any repairs. You want to come over here, open this guy up while the valve is on, and let's see what we got. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. So right now it's clear water. It is a new system. It's a good idea to go ahead and let it run for a few minutes here. That'll get out, flush out any sand, any impurities, things like that, out of the zone. Anytime you do a repair, you want to open up your clean out as well. We know it's clean water. We're we'll going to shut that little ball valve off there. We're going to close this guy up. It goes back in our valve box. Put our lid on. You always want to document where your valve box is because right now you won't be able to see it and that's the goal. We don't want to see the irrigation. We don't want to hear it. We don't want to see it going on the concrete, on the windows, anything like that. Now 100% of what's coming out of that tap water is going directly to the plant's roots where it's going to be used for the plant. So we're managing our water the best of our ability. When you think sustainability, think Enviroscape LA.